those of you that do, uh, welcome back to my channel. So, today's video, or at least this video, <laughs> um, is called Catfish. Pause for just a second. Um, I want to elaborate that um, in this video that you are seeing right now, it's called Catfish. Um, in this video, I am talking about um, the fact that I was dealing with um, struggling with my ex. Um, I have now come to terms with the fact that he is my ex-boyfriend. Um, so yeah, what I'm talking about, um, just calling him man, um, that I was struggling with dealing with how to go about um, everything with him, basically. Um, it was never finalized in the sense of um, I never told him that I was done with him. He never told me he was done with me. But um, basically, it just was put at a halt. Um, since no communication was made by him, I made the final decision at the beginning of this year. This video was filmed in December um, while I was still dealing with how to handle it. Um, but it has been basically dealt with personally by myself. Um, it wasn't dealt with with him. I just wanted to put that in there so you guys aren't confused thinking I'm still going with through with this because I'm not. I'm done with him. Um, I can't say I've moved on into a new relationship because I have not yet gotten into a new relationship. But um, yeah, so that's where I leave this. So back to the video. Dealing with, with, I don't know what I call him. <laughs> I don't want to call him an ex. I don't want to call him a boyfriend. So... <laughs> I'll just call him man. <laughs> so I've been dealing um, with mental illness, health illness, um, trying to overcome it um, while shutting man out um, and trying to basically encourage man to um, talk to me, which hasn't happened. Um, while I was dating man, um, like in the beginning stages, there was a ton of guys who would hit me up on Instagram and I would tell them, oh no, I'm in a relationship. Well, Halloween night, um, actually let me back up, um, right around <laughs> the 22nd of October, um, I followed this guy on Instagram. Now his picture was of I don't even know what race he was. He kind of looked like an Arabic guy, almost. I'm not sure. Um, I'm not going to insert a picture because I basically blocked and deleted this guy. And this is why this is part of the story time. So I followed this guy and he started talking to me. It was very, very, like, nothing important, nothing special. Um, a couple days into talking to him, he asked me about having a boyfriend and why I was still single, and I told him, I'm technically not, I'm just not sure what I call him, and at the time, I had only not been talking to man two months. I had only not talked to him for almost two months. I think we were just coming up on two months. So, I was like, you know, I just don't know where I am, I don't know what I, anyways, and, you know, he was like, oh, that's very sad. You know, that's not good. You know, he fell bad for me. And I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> Anyways, um, Halloween, we were in Disney. And I hadn't talked to, ooh, I'm just going to say Dr. Dummy. <laughs> I'll explain because he's not even actually a doctor. So, like I said, I'll explain. So, or I'll just say dummy. <laughs> I don't even want to call him doctor because he's not. <laughs> so, um, dummy contacts me um, while I was sitting. Um, see, we were in Disneyland for Halloween. Or that's where it mostly started. <laughs> we ended up <laughs> in the middle of a hospital with my grandma in the hospital. Um, she was fine. She just wasn't very smart. Um, like I said, I will make an explanation on that probably after this. Just to explain and touch bases, um, in case any of my cousins or my aunt see this, and then they're like, we didn't know, yeah, well, you just didn't know, and now that it's like a month past, it's fine, it doesn't matter, it's December. <laughs> see? December. Anyways. 
So while sitting in the waiting room, which I hate, oh, I hate hospitals to begin with. Um, I don't like all the bugs. Oh, the germs. I am so sorry. I'm not even paying attention. Like, I am paying attention, but I'm, like, looking down. I am so sorry, you guys. And Dummy texts me. Well, actually, it's Instagram. So he's insta-messaging me. Um, and we're having a conversation about this, that, and the other, and then he starts talking to me about hooking up with me. Now, he said he was 35, so I'm like, okay. He told me he had a PhD, that he was (laughs) in the UN, and... I was talking about one of my exes and he told me, well, actually I was talking about man and talking about his baby mama and the situation he went through with his cheating baby mama. And dummy proceeds to tell me that, um, he basically, it's so weird. He tells me that while he was in the UN, his girlfriend cheated on him. When he came back, he caught her in the act. So, I don't know. I was like, "Mm, okay. Long story short, this guy basically hoaxed me. Like I said, he catfished me into believing that, first of all, he was a doctor. Second of all, he was in the UN. Third of all, that he was in the army. And at one point... (laughs) I don't know why some other people are so stupid. Why do you think, okay, this is the problem that I noticed with this guy. Because, yes, I did dig into, like, his profile and his bio and I looked at stuff. This guy has been catfishing old women, okay? This guy perused himself as his PhD and surgeon an optometry surgeon or something stupid like that parades himself as some perfect dude and gets these older women in love with him. And I'm like, anyways, but I'm not stupid. So first of all, you tell me you're in the United Navy. I'm not a complete idiot, okay? I'm 30. I'm not a stupid person. I've also been catfished multiple times, so I know when I'm being catfished. So anyways, but I didn't have the time, like, think anything until I started reading more into his profile. Um, when I was looking at pictures, there was this older woman, like, probably in her 70s, I don't know, that had commented on some of his posts three weeks before we started talking. Then there was one week before we started talking and one week after we started talking so stupid stuff (laughs) yeah but here I am thinking ooh new meat he lives in Texas that's what he told me he lives in Texas at one point when he actually talks to me now it's probably the 2nd of November I think it's like the second or the third when he actually starts getting more intense about wanting to be with me. And our discussion went from me just telling him, look, I don't know what I am. I don't know where I want to. He's like, look, just hook up with me and we'll figure out the rest. And I'm like, hmm, I don't know. I really didn't know what I wanted to do because I'm like, I don't know. I don't like long distance relationships. I never have. I never will. They just don't work. But anyways, he actually calls me. Um, on the Instagram call, he calls me. And he doesn't show his picture, like his face. And then he tells me that for security reasons, he can't. Now, my cousin, though she's not with him now, my cousin had a husband in the military and he called her all the time and they always facetimed and he never said oh for security reasons we can't do that so i don't know and i was questioning it and his accent did not sound like he was from texas then he tried to tell me he was from new york okay he actually sounded like he was from either arabia or africa because he was really not talking very clear to me and i was kind of like um 
what's going on here. So right after that, and then he finally did Facebook friend me. And I'm looking, and there are so many pictures of African men and women tagging him in stuff. And he literally, right before he friended me on Facebook, had gone through and changed all, added all these pictures of him from Instagram onto his Facebook profile page. And it literally said six hours ago, one hour ago. And I'm like, do you really think I am that stupid that I wouldn't notice? Okay, and then there's this girl that called him sister. Okay, first of all, he tells me his favorite thing to do is spend time with his friends and his family. But prior to that message, he tells me that he has no parents and no siblings, so no family and no one to love him. But then you turn around in a different message and tell me your favorite thing to do is spend time with your friends and family. And I was like, what family? I thought you told me you didn't have family. And he goes, no, 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 before. He goes, you know, people I, I adopt as family and I spend time with them. I'm like, okay, yeah, I'm not stupid. Okay, first of all, the accent when you FaceTimed me already had me questioning you. And then you add me on Facebook and I'm really questioning you. So this boy is apparently not the man that he's hoaxing himself on Instagram to be. He's really some black boy from Africa that is 21 years old. Okay, I am not stupid. Because there were pictures of people who actually tagged him just like on his birthday. Tagged him, this little black boy, and the little black boy friend. Okay, and the dude who was in the other side of the picture is commenting on what they were... I am not stupid. And then there's a chick who said she was his sister. And she was commenting. And I'm just like, okay, you know what? This boy is fake as hell. So, yeah. I got catfished. But guess what? I didn't fully get catfished because I'm not stupid. I'm not a stupid person. I know when I'm being catfished. So yeah, that's my catfish story. Uh, so basically, moral of the story is don't always believe anything you see on the internet. And guess what? I didn't. Um, that is why I had a lot of trust issues when I first was on like the stupid dating websites. I had a lot of trust issues. I didn't trust that the person I was looking on the website was actually them. And but yeah, there's a lot of catfishers out there, and sometimes you just have to um realize and notice who you're talking to and that first of all anyone you talk to on any social medias could be fake <laughs> unless you see them face to face like in videos like I'm doing now you don't know who they are um and even sometimes they could be hiding a lot from you um I know I hid a lot of my mental illness from people um there are still things about me that I'm sure you guys don't know yet. Um, and I could possibly tell you guys along down the line because it is it does make me feel better to talk about situations. So like I said, I could have just you two subscribers and no other. And guess what? I'm going to be happy because I could have none and still be okay. Um, because like I said, <laughs> I loved Good Luck Charlie on Disney Channel. And guess what? It gave me good ideas. Video diaries to keep for myself. Um, yes, I will do vlog lean next year and I'm gonna do better um and maybe I will try vlogmas um I had intentions on trying vlogmas this year but because vlogaween went so bad I just once I fell at something it is hard for me to bounce back but that has nothing to do with my catfish videos so yeah um yeah, I hope you guys like this video. Subscribe if you're not subscribed and make sure to turn on your notification bell so you know every time I upload a video. Stay tuned for that and I will see you all next time.